dinner and dishes. Awesome. You're set to relax for the rest of the evening, I hope. <laughs> what's everybody, uh, what's everybody having for dinner? You know, I have to ask. <laughs> I love tacos. Tacos are like favorite food. Uh, poor Brie is sicky poo. <laughs> I actually am not feeling great myself, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on with me. I feel run down. I feel not okay. <laughs> I feel not okay. I don't know what is happening. <laughs> Hi, cat. How are you? Oh, chicken fried rice sounds so good. Spaghetti and garlic bread sounds bomb. We are going to be having a non-keto meal tonight because... My husband is not, my husband is sick. My husband also broke his toe this evening when he got home from work. <laughs> He's fine, but he broke his toe. And uh, also we're heading into a, a holiday weekend. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna have some chicken strips and some french fries. And that sounds really good. <laughs> we were standing out in the garage when he got home and we were talking and he was taking off his boots and he takes so every night when he gets home from work he takes off his boots and he puts them on the boot dryer because he's on his feet all day running around so he had no shoes on he's like standing out in the garage and we're talking away and he like turns and he kicked his foot right into something and he's like oh my god that really hurt and then I was driving to the post office and he texts me and he's like I broke my damn toe and he sent me a picture and it's broken. <laughs> so, that's fun. But, he, hi Renee, how are you? 
he is such like a um doesn't like really ever complain about anything doesn't let anything get to him so he doesn't care that he broke his toe <laughs> he's just it's more of an inconvenience to him you know <laughs> so funny <laughs> so what's everybody working on does anybody have any new whips going I started my paisley painting uh, from craftably and I only have one little square done but I'm very excited about it because it's looking really pretty so far so oh, I am I don't know what is up with me this week my anxiety has been really out of control does anybody ever get that way where you just kind of have like a week where your anxiety just kind of creeps up on you and you're just feeling like oh, kind of crazy Allison's working on Chuck Pinson from March those Chuck Pinsons are um, heavy duty aren't they Lita's working on glass <laughs> mermaid she's in confetti heaven I saw your picture on Instagram and it looked so beautiful it looked really really pretty Tracy's working on Cosmic Dancer. I like that one a lot. That's really pretty. Stacy is about to finish a cross stitch conversion. Ooh, I saw, um, is that the dumb bitch one? That was so funny. Um, Stacy tagged me in a post and I, oh, as soon as I opened it up, it said dumb bitch. And I was like, seems about right. <laughs> Hi, Berta. Berta says, tell him he needs a full leg cast for that toe. <laughs> Berta, it's good to see you. Hey, Veronica. I am so glad to see you. How you doing, Veronica? <laughs> oh, Lita, I'm so sorry to hear that. I can imagine that would make your anxiety, like, flare up for sure. Cat's working on Sedona Majesty by Abraham Hunter. Oh, it's a DAC, okay. I don't think I know what that one looks like. Hi, Paula, how are you? Welcome in, it's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, Kay is making cards at the moment, so no whip. If you, I don't know if anybody has seen the cards that Kay makes. I know that Bree showed one, one time, and it was amazing it was so beautiful I was blown away it's absolutely beautiful hi Katie how are you welcome in Katie says hello hello I'm on the last section of magic portal aka dr. strange so much confetti ready to be done I got that one this week um, because they restocked it and it just arrived yesterday and I kind of want to start it but I know there's like no way that I can work on that one and um, my paisley kit as well. <laughs> There's just no way. <laughs> yes, um, Diamond Days um, is Lita. So if you hear me say Lita, that's who I'm talking to. <laughs> Yes, Kay's cards are beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yes, so I got the Doctor Strange one, and I got the Iron Man, and then Captain America, I think. So. Jen is on the last row of Phoenix Rising. Can't wait to finish. So, oh, you can start Foxy Lady. I love that Foxy Lady. I um can't wait to start on that one. I wish I was faster so that I could do both of those kits for June because I think Foxy Lady is like perfect for the Pride event. Berta finished Snow Tiger and Nefertiti so trying to finish uh, Rain Keeps Falling. Oh my gosh you guys are so fast. I wish I was fast. <laughs> No, I've watched videos like there's some great videos on YouTube that like tell you how to diamond paint faster and I just I'm not a fast diamond painter 
and that's okay. <laughs> Hi, Carol. How are you? I'm glad to see you, Carol. Yes, the Phoenix Rising is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> so did anybody uh, get any new paintings over the weekend or any cool stuff? April says, I just finished Basking in the Glory by DACA on Amazon. You know, I have never checked out the DACs that are on Amazon, and I kind of, like, forget about them, you know? Like, I forget that they're on there. I should check them out. I know, Brie. Poor Brie has, like, not been feeling good. Brie's been going through it because she had surgery, and now she's sick. Like, it's not fair. <laughs> Oh, okay, Veronica, you accidentally bought all three Mini, Mer <laughs> Mini Made Mermaids that came out <laughs> accidentally on purpose. <laughs> Allison says, I'm slow as molasses, working two jobs, and running a house takes a lot of me. Yeah, that's the thing is like, I, uh, I, um, I work full time and then I created a job for myself and which is not really a job like it's fun but uh and then yeah I tried to clean my house somewhere in between there and I got dogs and I got this that and the other so you know it's all good <laughs> uh Jen says it's so much detail and confetti for my second square painting ever yeah the squares just slow me down <laughs> April says, don't get sucked in. <laughs> oh, Katie bought two. <laughs> I, bought a pe I bought another pen this morning. Because, um, have you guys seen the pens from, um, I don't know this company very well. Like, I um, have only seen them on Instagram. But they're called Swampwood designs I think and I woke up at five o'clock this morning and I opened my phone and they were like oh look at our new pens and I was like oh I want that one somebody needs to stop me <laughs> yeah Morgana says something tells me that wasn't an accident <laughs> pen. I'm trying to think like where I've seen rainbow pens. Um, so the, the French shop um, that has them on Facebook usually has a good number of rainbow pens on there I feel like and like some pastel rainbow, bright rainbow and like muted rainbow ones but I don't really know like when he drops them I just kind of follow him on Facebook, and then sometimes I see him. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've seen rainbow pens elsewhere. Oh, Katie says, Swampwood pens are some of my faves. They're wonderful. Okay, I'm excited. I got like a turquoise one that has um, the rhinestones like on the end of it. It's really pretty. I'm excited to get it. <laughs> I got Deity of Sunset. Ooh, and you're working on Deity of Dawn. Oh my gosh. Yes. I need to check out those Mini Made ones. There's always like just so so much stuff and so little time, I tell you. <clears throat> I think I might be getting a little bit sick because I feel like, you know, my head is <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> so 
So does anybody have big plans for Memorial Day? If you're in the States, that is. I realize not everybody observes Memorial Day, but I uh, am hoping to get caught up on a lot of videos that I want to film this weekend since I'm off for five days. I am like, I want to do, um, I want to do some post review videos because I finished two paintings recently that I have not done any post review on and I need to do a whip and chat for this week and there's some unboxing videos I want to do. I have a Timu order coming tomorrow and uh, I also wanted to kind of do like a, I don't know if people are going to be interested in this or not but I just kind of wanted to do it like a day in the life thing where I just do like a vlog of a day like what I do in a day. I don't know if anybody's interested in that but I just thought it'd be something different than uh, diamond painting so I think I'm gonna do that and then uh, of course my I'm going to be doing lots of resin this weekend too which will be fun <laughs> I thought maybe I could try to film that like over the weekend so it's not a work day because like my work days are very boring I get up and like I don't know a typical work, work day is like I get up and I do crafting for like two hours before I start work and then I work which is like not that fun there's nothing interesting there and then like at the end of the day like I do some more crafting and then we kind of watch tv and I diamond paint and then I go to bed there's really nothing fun there but weekends will be more fun <laughs> people love vlogs yeah like I really like vlogs and I think I'm just like so into like people watching and I'm nosy that I like to see like what other people have going on <laughs> in their life um and like I get like really uh invested sometimes on uh <laughs> Berta says okay whip and chat done <laughs> Uh, I get really invested like in some of the vlogs and like I uh, am always just like interested to see what happens like I was watching this one girl where she is like going through a divorce and it's like watching a soap opera I'm like what is what's gonna happen next so nothing in my life is that interesting I assure you but and then I love like the um, I don't watch them so much anymore just because uh, I haven't really had time but I used to watch like a lot of like the Korean vloggers that show like uh, what they eat in a day and what they do in a day and they were just like fascinating to me I don't know I just think they're fascinating <laughs> hi Catherine how are you <clears throat> How's it going, Catherine? <laughs> so, <clears throat> I thought we could take a look at the washi tape that I have for tomorrow. Really quick, if you guys want to. I'm excited about it. I'm doing good, Catherine. Thank you. Might be kind of a short live. Because I'm not, I'm feeling a little bit like run down, but. So I'm hoping to, I think that new tray drops will be the first weekend of September. <laughs> not September. Not at all September. That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> first weekend of June <laughs> which would be um the third I think the third yes the third so I have a lot of customs that I have going right now hi Tammy how are you 
And then this weekend, I'll be making special trays and then dropping them the following weekend. So, hi, Debbie, how are you? Oh, I'm so glad you liked the blue trinket tray. Hi, Mama B, how are you? I'm so happy to see you all. So, to, I have also a ton of cover minders that I need to list as well, and so those will be going up um, as well. <laughs> so, but tomorrow, um, we have some washi tape. Ooh, hi Steph, how are you? I'm knocking stuff over. So I posted these on Instagram, but I thought we could take a look at them. I want to keep all of these like this is the problem so and Brie will tell you that this happens every time so every time I make a custom tray I fall in love with it and then I take a picture of it and I send it to Brie and I say I want to keep this one <laughs> staff did you bring some to share with the class <laughs> Catherine says, how could I update the starting photo? I kitted up and made 24 squares. Ooh, okay. Um, Brie, do you know how to, <laughs> do you know how to update the form with a new picture? Can you just upload another picture? They say to only eat half, and half is about nine tenths too much. <laughs> oh, Steph. Okay, I think you can click onto the form and edit your entry and either replace the picture or add a new picture, I think. And you get a cookie, and you get a cookie. Everybody gets a cookie. <laughs> are we talking, are we, um, are you stuck to the couch, <laughs> Steph, or are you feeling, uh, are you feeling productive? <laughs> Tony says, oh, I like cookies. <laughs> I'm trying to find my way around here. So uh, now that I am on my very own website, I feel like I can expand a little bit more because I don't have so many rules. Like Etsy has rules about what you can sell on there. I don't wanted to kind of branch out a little bit more and do some diamond painting like accessories and crafting accessories. So I have these cute washi tapes that I'll be going up tomorrow. And I posted these on Instagram, but oh my goodness, the sun is gonna ruin this for me, look. And my camera will ruin it, of course. Let's see if this camera's better. Let's see if that's better. Little whip. And they're, oh my goodness, they're cute little cakes with cats on them. You could barely see them. My webcams are terrible, I tell you. <laughs> terrible. I am a sucker for the cute washi tape too. I love anything that is like kawaii themed. Um, these ones are little garden kitties, so they're little kitties that are gardening. Anything, anything like kawaii. I think these are my favorite, these little bread themed ones. And I actually thought about Catherine when I got these because we always talk about the bread. <laughs> so these have little breads on them bread and toast and eggs. Sorry, the sun is just like ruining this. 
Oh, Tammy gets a cookie. She hit the thumbs up. <laughs> oh, what did Steph say? I did respond to a work email earlier, and the lady ended it super short, and I feel like she knew. <laughs> I made absolutely no sense. <laughs> you're just being paranoid because you're high. <laughs> Um, these ones are chaos frogs. So they're little frogs doing chaotic things. <laughs> this one is really cool. This one has glitter in it and they're space bunnies and it's kind of a wider one. It's like double, double the width. <laughs> Catherine says, thank you for thinking of me because of bread. <laughs> I also ordered something on Timu that was like a little bread thing too. And I was like, oh, Catherine would like this because it's bread. <laughs> so that one's like sparkly. It's really pretty. And then just a couple more. These ones are froggy kitties. So they're frogs dressed up as kitties. And I realize you can't see this because the, the, well, because the camera's terrible. <laughs> and then these are Ohio Neko, which these are really cute. They're just little kitties. Lots of cat themed ones. Wider ones are nice for around the outside of the canvas. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. And then this one is also my favorite. The Neko Washi, or Neko um, Coffee Washi Tape, where it's got coffee and kitties on it. So they're just so cute. Cute, cute. So those will be on the website tomorrow at 5 Eastern. <laughs> oh yeah, the Jeremiah Kettner washi tape was so cute that Brie had for her event. <laughs> so yeah, I've been looking for, for new things to do with the store. Uh, so I saw those and I was like, that's so cute. Um, I'm a sucker for the cute kawaii stuff. Mm hmm So neko means, yep, cat in Japan. Or in Japanese. My brain, you guys, today. <laughs> Hi, the uncrafty crafter. <laughs> How are you? I know, I feel like, um, I always miss your life too because you go, like, later at night and then... I'm asleep <laughs> by then, but I, I uh, will catch the replay sometimes. <laughs> so I'm glad to see you, Jenny. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Should we play some trivia? I feel like we haven't done that in a while. missing anybody. I apologize. Because again, I am on top chat and not live chat. Every time. Every time. <laughs> All right. We'll intersperse some or intersperse some uh, trivia with our conversation. <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. Which element has the chemical symbol Fe? It's kind of an easy one. Coffee, coffee, and more coffee. I've been drinking a lot of caffeine recently. Maybe that's why my anxiety has been a little bit out of control. I was just thinking about it. I had coffee and I 
had uh, one of these Celsius drinks today and uh, I also had another little energy thing too. Ooh, you guys are smart. You got it. It's iron. Where do you find penguins? The North or South Pole? I thought it was both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'll mention, uh, just in case, I think everybody here knows, but just in case people haven't heard yet, so Brie and I are, um, <laughs> at the zoo, <laughs> Brie and I are hosting an event in June, it's from June 1st to June 30th, and it's called Diamonds and Diversity. And it is to celebrate the month of June, um, which is Pride Month. Um, and so anybody that would like to join can. Our only requirement is that you do a uh, canvas that symbolizes pride in some way. Um, and um, we have a Google form. That you can fill out if you want to be entered for prizes but not required if you don't want to be entered for prizes and um, we have some more details in our announcement video so I'll post a link for those no new start required and no finish required we are going to do weekly prizes, and we have some really great sponsors. Um, we have um, Diamond Art Club has generously given us some um, gift certificates to give away. Um, we have um, Cat Proof Diamond. I'm going to forget. Let me look at those. Cat Proof Diamond Painting Trays. Um, Peachy Keen Pens. Let me grab my list so I'm not forgetting anybody. My brain is a little bit fried. So yes, Diamond Art Club, Cat Proof Diamond Painting Trays, uh, Peachy Keen Pens, Jaded Gem Shop, um, Diamond Painting Fanatics, Bijou Bliss, Kiana's Corner, da uh, Painting with Pities, and then Lexi uh, Sparkle Craft Brie. Please help me if I'm missing anybody. I hope I'm not. Um, so yes, we have some really great sponsors and we're very, very lucky and grateful to all of those sponsors. Um, we also have t-shirts for the event and the proceeds from the t-shirts go to um, the Trevor Project. I wish I had an example of the t-shirt to show you, but I'm still waiting on them to uh, deliver mine. They're from Teespring. Uh, let me find the link. everybody I'm just looking for the link for the um... here's the Facebook group <laughs> oh Tammy no worries no worries oh here we go here's for the t-shirts hi Shay how are you? Shay, I was watching your whipping chat right before I logged on here and uh, I was listening to your story about Ryan's graduation and congratulations to him. It sounds like he had a great time, but I was listening to the story about the tassel and I was like, oh my gosh, what a small world. <laughs> oh, sorry, 
Joe. So um, I was just telling them that Bree and I are hosting an event for the month of June called Diamonds and Diversity, and it is to celebrate Pride Month. And basically, you can do any painting that represents pride to you, and um, there's no new start required, there's no finish required. We just want as many people to join in and have fun with us. And we're going to do some cool things to um, support the Trevor Project, which is a foundation or um, a group that helps LGBTQ youth and mental health and um, yep, Diamonds and Di Diversity 2023. Um, so we're kicking that off on June 1st. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody was looking in a shade. <laughs> oh, so you guys were right. It's the South Pole for penguins. <laughs> Alrighty. How many Olympic rings are there? Tanya says the week or the event starts the week of her birthday. <laughs> Mama B says your ears must have been ringing. <laughs> I was watching too. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Ooh, lots of different answers in the chat on this one. <laughs> Some of you are correct, but I'm not going to tell you who yet. So if you missed the question, it was how many Olympic rings are there? Mm. <laughs> yeah, nobody listen to stuff right now. She's on a different planet. <laughs> Okay, you ready for the answer? If you said five, you're correct. Five, and I think it is to, um, I think April is correct that it's the number of continents, right? Like each one represents the different continents. Is that correct? I think that's, I think that's what I remember. <laughs> oh, this one. I'm hoping somebody gets this one. So it might be a little bit harder. Okay. What French phrase indicates ready to wear clothing that is intended to be worn off the rack without significant alteration? Oh, Tammy, you got it right. <laughs> There's seven continents. Oh no, I've embarrassed myself on the internet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Antarctica doesn't have people. Oh. <laughs> yes, there are seven continents. Oh, I don't know then where I got that from. <laughs> yes, there are seven. <laughs> each of the colors like the rings and the colors represented like the different content is it the continents that participate in the olympics is that what it is <laughs> kat 
Texas. Je ne sais pas. <laughs> They combine America's Europe, Eurasia. Okay. Oh, goodness. I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, this was a harder one. Prêt à porter was the answer, which I've heard before, but like I had to look at the back of the card. <laughs> Tammy says I just no clue, just remember how many circles. Oh, Liz got it. There you go. The answer is prêt à porter. I'm probably not saying it right. <laughs> Liz got it. Have a good night, Brie. I hope you feel better. I'll check in with you later. Get some sleep. Drink lots of fluids. Take your medicine. All that good stuff. <laughs> okay. Woo. Everybody should get this one, I think. I think. Okay. Daisies and Brownies are the first two membership levels of what organization? Smart, you got it. Girl Scouts. <laughs> Catherine said Girl Guides, and that's so cute because that reminds me of my mom was in Girl Guides when she was younger. Okay. What kind of animal is a gecko? Is that right, Catherine? Scouts for boys and guides for girls. <clears throat> in um, in the states, they just call both of them um, scouts. And then I feel silly because my dog's name is Scout, so I'm always like, "You're a good girl scout." So then it sounds like I'm calling her a good girl scout. <laughs> so then I feel silly. <laughs> Oh, girl guides are boring. Really? <laughs> all right, so we all knew that one. Gecko was a lizard or reptile, it said. Oh, okay, here's a good one. What is the Amster, sorry. What is the Amsterdam district of Dewalen most commonly known for? I hope I'm saying that right. Der, der, Wall, der Wallen? <laughs> When you think of uh, Amsterdam, there's probably two things that come to mind. <laughs> You guys got it. It's a red light district. But Shay said the other one I was thinking about, which was the marijuana. <laughs> so yes, red light, red light district was correct. What is the clothing worn by surgeons and other medical professionals called? <laughs> Right. <laughs> yes, 
our favorite scrubs. I actually don't own any scrubs now because I don't, I haven't worked in a clinical setting in a long time. And I ended up getting rid of all of my scrubs like before I moved to Ohio. And I don't think I ever want to wear them again. <laughs> they just remind me of the hospital. So yes, you guys got it. Scrubs. Hey, Wendy. Oh, have a good night, April. It was fun having you here. I hope you have a good night. All right, we'll do one more card and then we'll look at um, what's coming up this week. <laughs> oh, what is the name of Super Mario Brothers? Sorry. What is the name of Super Mario's brother in the video game Super Mario Brothers? You guys probably think I'm crazy. I keep drinking, but my throat is like killing me. You guys are correct. It's Luigi. It's -a me, a Mario. Have you guys seen the new um, Mario Brothers movie? I haven't seen it yet. But that's like a childhood like staple for me is Mario Brothers so I kind of want to see the movie yes they're brothers and they're plumbers did you know that <laughs> they're Super Mario Bros <laughs> do they have a last name I don't think they have a last name do they oh Alita you guys saw the movie oh is it cute oh I need to see it. So I heard one person say that, um, like it's modern enough that like kids today like get it and they like it, but they also do enough like throwback. So like the eighties kids like get it. Yeah. Okay. So Katie said the same thing. There's tons of reference to the older games. I think I would like it then. So I want to see it. cat is <laughs> confused at who I'm talking to. <laughs> That's too cute. I need, so I need to see that. Uh, what profession did Luciano Pavarotti have? Oh, you knew the plumber part. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. <laughs> I had to like double check that because I was like, did he have another occupation other than that? So yes, you guys are correct. He is an opera singer. Uh, <laughs> what is the name of the Italian fashion designer who was shot dead outside of his home in Miami in 1997? I forgot that that happened. <clears throat> I knew Steph, the true crime buff, was going to get that one. Gianni Versace. <clears throat> In 
in, uh oh, here's a continent question. <laughs> in which continent is Iran? Oh, I haven't seen that stuff. Take a look at what's coming out this week. Steph, do you guys have stuff coming out this week? Iran was Persia. Steph is having a sale. What kind of sale are you having? Let me bring this over here so I can actually see it. see that okay oh that's correct I did see that birthday sale 20% off paintings code is bday20 so that is lazy river diamond paintings if you guys want to check them out Steph feel free to put your link in there if you want to uh, so if you're new here, usually towards the end of the stream, we look at what's coming up just to window shop because most of us like to shop, <laughs> to be honest, and just kind of see what's coming up and, and talk about it. <laughs> Hope y'all can see this okay. stuff it's kind of weird like nobody wants to like uh, self-promote right <laughs> this one is uh, really cool looking it is not my style necessarily but um, I do think it looks really cool let's look at their rendering <laughs> All right, I'm going to post your link then. <laughs> I know, but people like will ask for it though, you know what I mean? Like, uh, give the people what they want. <laughs> is really cool but confetti heavy right like this one's gonna be oh I'm hang on a second let me go back this one I wanted to see oh, okay so it is square 54 colors two ABs and two fairy dust what do you think 
think will be like the next big um, special drill. Cause like it was AB's right, and then uh, like Diamond Art Club did like the um, was it like the electro drills or something, and now everything has like fairy dust drills in it. Will there will there be something else? Do you think? Like, will there be another special drill that comes out that will be in everything? So yes, I thought this one is really cool. Um, let's see, 53 colors, two ABs and two fairy dust. square yeah square 53 colors oh it's a halloween one i think there was a like a winter one last week wasn't there um this is bonnie white folk art square 62 colors uh four ab one fairy diamond or fairy dust Yeah, the colors of that one lead on. These are always so cute. This would be a great one for fall. It's Halloween, obviously. I like the little dogs down here. You know what I need to do is I need to order a custom with my dogs on there. <laughs> Hello, Michelle. It's good to see you. <laughs> the Hefflinger horse, yes. Very cute. I don't know if you can see, but the tree has like a face in him. Very cute. And I like the owls too. I'm guessing the fairy dust is going to be up here in the moon, probably the stars so that's cute 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 oh it's pretty oh this one's called Morgana <laughs> yeah right Katie Katie says the style isn't normally my jam but keep being tempted yeah like um, sometimes that happens to me too where I'm like it's not really my style but there's something about it that appeals to me and I end up buying stuff even though it's not, it's kind of like out of my like comfort range or whatever. Yes, Morgana, I think you should get this one. <laughs> and it's a cool picture too. I think it's really pretty. I like the baby dragon. Uh, it's neat. It is neat. And I always like the dark, the darker paintings. So how many colors is this though? Not very many. Uh, square with 15, two ABs. Let's see the rendering. Yeah, I like this one. I like when they have like lots of lines too. Like, I think this is a good one for that. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. I like it. I really like the baby dragon. I've been doing more things like with dragons that, or like I've been attracted to more things with dragons recently. It's cute. Diane 11, that name I always think is like so familiar. Like I've seen it somewhere before, like outside of the diamond painting world. Okay, this one. <laughs> yes, Katie, 
I've been, I had not previously um, been into the dragons, but yeah, like, all of a sudden I'm like, ooh, dragons. Yeah, Mama B says, it's crazy how your tastes can change, yeah. Y'all, what are your thoughts on this one? <laughs> this one, Bree and I were talking about the other day, and is Berta in here? Berta usually picks up on funny things in paintings. <laughs> so this one's called Aquaman. Square, 72 colors. Ooh, a lot of colors in this one. Three AVs. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in, in this one, right? <laughs> okay, thank you, Steph. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Hi, Berta. <laughs> yeah, that that's what I was thinking, Steph. I, it's... I can't unsee it. <laughs> I also cannot unsee the very happy little fish down here as well. Like, and the sagging, yes, yes. Like, I don't know. <laughs> and then Brie was also like, it looks like Chris Helmsworth. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, it does. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same Mama B. Like, I I think that I can't do, like, the mermen. <laughs> Stuff, I just can't. I like the mermaids. Uh, I like the... I don't know. I always... Uh, I always want to do paintings of, like, pretty girls. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really ever go for the ones with the men in them. Uh... I always go for like the fairies and like the princesses and the and the mermaids. I don't know. This one, <laughs> this one was just too funny though. <laughs> oh, let's look at the rendering. Okay, see, like you can really see, like this little fish right here is like way too happy. Uh, and yeah, the package is. Uh, your eye just really goes right to it, doesn't it? <laughs> Katie says, I was just stuck on Nemo and Dory. You dirty birds. That's true. <laughs> they should take him out of the lineup. I'm telling you. <laughs> Too funny. I do like, I do like, like, parts of the picture, you know, I just cannot get over, like, my eye just goes straight to it. <laughs> That's too funny. And I love, I love, uh, yes, Berta, right? Like, needs a push up. <laughs> and I, I, I don't mean any disrespect because I really do love Mandy Manzano and I, I have um, some of her paintings and I, I really do love her artwork. Uh, but, you know, it's just in good fun. <laughs> Stuff. unfortunate <laughs> it's just unfortunate yes extreme respect for the artist 100 percent i just have i'm just childish sometimes <laughs> i'm just immature for my age sometimes <laughs> we'll move on <laughs> speaking of childish things <laughs> Yes, Tammy, it is, it's a Mandy Manzano, but it says, like, it's licensed through WB, which I guess would be Warner Brothers. 
I didn't really understand that. This is cute, a classic. Sesame Street. Cute, cute. Is this a, how big is this one? Oh, I'm sorry, this is not a new kit. I was confused. Or is it? Oh, it is. You guys, my brain is like not firing on all cylinders tonight. Sesame Street Friends by Sesame Street Workshop, 16 by 13 inches. Okay, so it is kind of a smaller one. It's about 40 by 30, 32. Round, 15 colors, two ABs. Well, that's cute. Okay, this person is asking the question that I want to know. When will you collab with Sanrio? I would buy that instantly. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> I know stuff. I cringed internally when I saw the Sesame Street right after the uh, ding ding talk. <laughs> I know Berta. <laughs> Yeah, Mama B, I think this one is cute. <laughs> I always love Sesame Street. If they could get a nice Hello Kitty one, that'd be great. <laughs> so I think that's, yep, and then we're going back into last week, I think. Yes. Yes. Cute, cute. Alrighty, let me come back to the chat here. Okay, so time will tell because tomorrow, of course, they will drop more. And there might be other stuff that I want to buy, <laughs> which is typical. <laughs> so I do think I'm going to end it here. I feel a bit bad for cutting it a little bit short because usually we go till about 8.30, but... My throat is killing me and I just feel kind of a little bit run down. So I think I'll go to bed early and sleep in a little bit because I don't have to work tomorrow, which is really, really nice. And I'm going to film some videos this weekend. I'm excited. So that'll be good to like get caught up on stuff. And I really miss YouTube. Like I feel a little bit like just with like doing the resin stuff like I love to do that but I feel like it does keep me away from YouTube a little bit and I miss I'm, I feel like I have FOMO I have like fear of missing out on stuff so <laughs> yes ma'am lots of liquids <laughs> so thank you all for being here hanging out with me and and all that good stuff I hope everybody has an excellent night and have a great weekend. Oh, Berta says one question. We'll hold for one question. This better be good, Berta. <laughs> so thank you, everybody, for your well wishes. I appreciate it. <laughs> Sneak peek, will it be? Ooh, does anybody know? <gasps> Katie got the inside scoop. Does anybody know whose sneak peek that will be? <laughs> we want the tea. <laughs> we'll have to see. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, on that note. <laughs> Oh, and Katie says, not sure. <laughs> so we'll have to find out. <laughs> Berta. <laughs> we'll have to find out uh, tomorrow, I suppose. <laughs> so, alrighty. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> it's not Katie. We know that much. <laughs> alrighty. Thank you so much for being here. I hope everybody has a great evening, great weekend. Thank you also to all of the workers and lurkers, and thank you to the replay gang as well. 
So if you're watching this on the replay, thank you. I appreciate you as well. So, all right. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.